What's going on guys, Adam R, ADH Amar, back here with another video. All right, so today I'm gonna to be telling you guys the five mods that you must do to your Audi if you guys have an Audi, especially if you guys have a Audi 3.0 T supercharged, okay? So I know there's some uh, turbocharged Audis out there. Now this could go for you too, uh, depends um, for you know what I'm talking about. But mainly it's gonna be for a supercharged one, for some specific ones, but you can apply it to your Audi whether you like it or not, it's up to you. If you guys have not followed me or subscribed to me, please subscribe right now because I have a lot of content coming and I have Audi content and I have car content. So if you guys like car meets, cars and shit like that, you know, just, just follow me because you know, why not subscribe to me? Why wouldn't you do that? This is my beauty right here. This is my Audi A7 2016 uh, supercharged. Uh, that's a motherfucker. And yeah, I'm gonna be going over the top or the five mods that you must do to your Audi once you get your Audi if you get your Audi. Right, so number one, first thing that I did to my Audi is gonna be the thing that pretty much makes any car. If you don't have these or if these are ugly, your car is literally trash. It don't matter how fast it is, it don't matter how cool it looks on top. If your rims don't look nice, your car is trash. So, first thing I did to my car when I got it is I got the rims powder coated gloss black. Now, this is probably the best mod that I did because the uh, the other rims that I had, they were the color of the car. And honestly, it, it looks good with the car, but this looks way better. Makes it look a lot more sportier. Makes it look a lot more sleek, I guess you would say. Because with the gray rims, they don't look that good, to be honest. Alright, so that's the very first mod I did, and I do, do recommend it. If you guys live in like the San Bernardino area, I went to Bulletproof Coating. So if you guys want to go there, you guys can go ahead and check them out. They did a really good job. I just actually been doing a pretty bad job of uh, keeping up with them. They're getting a lot of swarm marks and all that. Probably need to get it re-coated um, and all that. But it's okay, because they still look nice from far away and when you wash them. But first mod you guys should do, definitely your rims. If not, it should be your rims. So for this second mod... Pretty much any car guy has to get it. If you guys are watching this video and you guys don't have this on your car and you've already had it for more than a month, you, I, why don't you have it? It's gonna be the intake, all right? So, a cold air intake will help you with a lot, especially if you guys have a supercharged Audi A7 or any type of Audi. Um, what'll help it, it'll help you get that wine, kind of like a Hellcat has it, but it's an Audi one. So, I really would recommend um, and cold air intake as soon as possible. I got the engine, I don't know, whatever, engine, whatever. And it works really well, I would assume. It's super loud with the wine, if you guys want to hear it right now. Okay, go ahead and press it. So you guys okay. okay, we get it, yeah, we get it, it's loud, yes. So, it does a really, really good job. Okay, of bringing out the wine. So, definitely do recommend that as your second mod. If not your first one, if you guys don't really ha care about your rims, or if you guys really already have the rims, then I would recommend getting cold air intake, especially for the supercharged one, because you will get that wine. And trust me, when you guys whine and you guys speed down a road with people beside you, they will always look. They always look like, what the fuck? Or like at car meets, like usually I'm the only one that's supercharged there, at least the ones that I go to. Um, and then because mainly everybody's like turbo and all that the only ones that are supercharged are some Hellcats But people already expect that but then when they hear an Audi with a wine They're like, oh shit, let's hear that wine or a hey, go or whatever the fuck, you know But yeah, definitely recommend that intake for this third mod You guys are gonna have to spend a little bit of money You guys can go any route you want, but I personally chose APR tuning. All right, so I went I tuned my car to 91 octane with APR, um, as you guys can see by the sticker there, go APR. Um, I got tuned by them, and honestly, it probably gave me like a, I don't know, like a hundred, uh, about a hundred horsepower to the crank. So really big difference, especially getting tuned from them. Um, I didn't feel it so much from the start. If you guys haven't seen that video though, um, it's up on my page, so go ahead and check that out. But pretty big difference. Um, definitely a must-have if you guys want to go to get faster in your car because you know getting tuned getting your ECU tuned is like the main thing especially since these automotive companies want to limit the way you know you can uh, put out power like this car it's supercharged and only give me 333 horsepower out the fucking out the dealership that like that's stupid like I think like I'm at a 460 now for I would say 470 maybe but I don't know 
but definitely 333 with a supercharged engine like like what's that you know so definitely go get your cartoon um if you guys uh well if you guys have an audi you guys can do apr you guys can do what guys can you guys do integrated engineering or you can go to your custom custom tuner if you guys have a custom tuner and if you guys have a custom tuner for your audi and you guys are watching this let me know in the comments because honestly i'm looking for a custom custom tuner once i go full bolt on and yeah i'm gonna need one so if you guys live like around the inland empire or like anywhere by huntington or you know santa Ana, i don't know somewhere like that um la area let me know in the comments uh, i'm trying to look for a custom tuner all right so for this fourth mod it's actually gonna be inside the car um it is roar pedal so if you guys have not heard of roar pedal it's pretty much this thing right here it's a pedal command pedal commander pedal control response controller or throttle controller whatever the fuck you want to call it pretty much removes the lag uh whenever you press the gas so as soon as you press the gas like it responds as quickly as possible so it takes all away any lag between the pedal and the the what the throttle okay so huh yeah so that's what it does i highly recommend it um especially if you guys are like into racing because or not that i race or anything but i'm just saying if you guys are into racing definitely recommend it because it will improve your response time your reaction time and then if you guys don't like it like for all time you guys can also switch it right here i'm not gonna switch it because this is my favorite it's like the racing highest mode so it's like super super sensitive but that's what i like so definitely recommend getting that as your fourth mod or a mod that you must have for your audi or any car actually you can get this for any car but definitely recommend it all right now for the fifth and last mod that i added to my audi since it is supercharged this specifically for supercharged audis is going to be the pulley all right so this pulley is actually five millimeters smaller than the original pulley and let me tell you it works so the smaller the pulley it is the faster that the supercharger will spin which means obviously more boost you know one plus one equals seven so i would say definitely get that it helps you out a lot especially once you guys get go full ball time is going to help you even more now i am going to go dual pulley so which that means that i'm going to get the crank pulley and that one's bigger and then it's going to give you even more boost but i'm not there yet but i will be there but definitely recommend getting that smaller pulley because it'll help you go faster give you more boost and it'll make your whine sound even louder because since it's spinning faster you know it gets all the all the i don't know the, the noise i don't know but yeah definitely recommend upgrading that definitely love that i got it from apr also so everything you see here pretty much i got from apr because they're pretty good at doing what they do so definitely recommend that okay um and other than that that's pretty much it um if you guys have any questions or anything about any mod that i talked about in my car um feel free to dm me on instagram or you can put it in the comments and i'll respond to it as soon as possible but if you guys don't know my instagram it's right there in the bio let's take a quick walk around my audi because this shit is a beauty you guys can see my license plate and it just looks nice it's clean it looks pretty stock from the outside except for that sticker but i mean it's pretty stock it says supercharged right there if you guys haven't seen it before and yeah right now i'm focusing mainly on the engine that's pretty much all i'm gonna do until i'm like full bolt on then that's when i'm gonna start like uh changing the looks from the outside because that grill needs to go i need to get the rs7 grill those need to go i need to get fog lights right there I need to get a uh, diffuser in the front, the side skirts, diffuser in the back. Uh, right now I just, oh, I forgot to tell you guys, extra, I guess. I have a muffler delete, just one muffler, nothing much, but it makes the car sound louder. But other than that, I hope you guys have a good time with your build. And I hope I helped you guys decide what you guys want to do with your car or with your Audi. If you guys have an Audi and you guys are building it, let me know. Let me put your Instagram down there. I'll check it out and I'll see if you can beat me or not.